Here's a video for a couple of YouTubers over the internet who have been asking me how I record my videos with so, uh, such good quality and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just going to show you how to do it. So first off, you're going to need your jacks or wire adapters. You're going to, these ones work perfect. Basically, this is the end that you're going to plug into your AVI slots and here are the two slots which are going to do the the job of the splitters I guess. So yeah this one works fine, this one's going to give you extra room because you can adjust it to your will and you're going to need a pair of these, these are if I can just get them, these are double ended AVI cable, RCA cable sorry as you can see they join right here and uh, you're going to need them and I'm just going to show you right now why you need them ok so you take your system wires and you don't need red, remember that you don't need red so basically what you're going to do is plug the yellow cable right into the jack into one end and with the double ended slot right here that's going to need to go into the other end of the jack so it's as simple as that and that's how it should look like that's what it should look like sorry and then with this one right here that's going to plug into your second jack one end of this just one end not both so that's going to go in right there nice and secure and then take your system wire once again and plug the other end right into here so yeah it's as simple as that that's what you should have something looking like roughly now now what you're going to do is take your dazzle capture can I have the DVC 100 DVD recorder you can see it's on right there from the blue light and so what you're going to do now is with the other end of these cables right here which, which are your double ended cables you're going to plug well the yellow one straight into the yellow slot which is going to be your video obviously and if I can find the white one yep I found the white one that's going to go straight into the left audio port so you should have something looking like this and then after you've done all that basically you plug your dazzle straight into your computer and of course before I forget you're going to need your Nintendo Wii cable or it can be Xbox 360 or whichever console you've got and you're going to need to plug which this one has the video cables in so this is going to go into the yellow slot right here so it's going to look as simple as that and then with your other one where you plug the white cables into it's going to simply plug straight into the white cable and then this one can leave hanging but if you want double audio just plug your Nintendo Wii cable in do not plug the red one of your RCA cables in because you won't get audio from it or anything so after you've set everything up you should have the dazzle USB port running down into the dazzle itself sorry for that and here's your bl the green LED light you should be welcome with to know that it's working you plug the white audio cable into the audio slot right here and then just plug it in and the video slot into the video slot at the other side and this cable should run behind the back of your TV and right into your uh, RCA thing and you should have the white ones going directly into the white port right here and the video going right into the video port right here make sure you plug the right wires in the right, right slot and now what you're going to do is go into Windows Movie Maker click on this uh, little button right here capture from video device your dazzle should be recognized and you set the dazzle preferences this is the best one for audio right here and this is uh, you should be uh, putting your video input source on composite if you have S video just put it into S video and set everything up after that there should be a black screen right here which is understandable because there's nothing on the TV absolutely nothing and what you're going to do now is with your Nintendo Wii wire uh, Nintendo Wii remote sorry you're going to press the power button should flicker like so and then it should appear perfectly as it does perfect on the TV set and press the A button and there it is perfectly on the computer and there it is on here so yeah I'm just going to show you now something with the Wii remote if I click the Resident Evil umbrella chronicles right there it should appear perfectly on both screens and yeah that's how you do it you just click start capture in the top corner and stop to stop it obviously and yeah that's really how simple it is
So if you have any other, have, if you have any other problems with it, just mail me and I'll see what I can do. So yeah, thanks for watching and I hope I've helped.